Well, it seems that the woke liberal SJW agenda being pushed all the time by Disney is uh, having a big major backfire on them. Essentially, it's backfiring majorly on them, put it that way. And it seems now that Disney is in absolute panic mode right now because, this tre because of their extremely high uh, losses, financial losses, in streaming revenue because they have the streaming service and the last time I heard they lost about over a billion dollars just in the past three months which is uh, pretty uh, pretty pretty bad when you think about it considering considering the fact that this is Disney you know multi-billion dollar company but it says here on Breitbart News uh, studios uh, panic as streaming fails to offset cord cutting yeah because your content sucks exactly you know when you're pushing out this left-wing ideology uh, yeah you're gonna get some pushback for that pushing this left-wing uh, socially liberal SJW woke ideology upon children. Uh, but it says here on Breitbart, the far left Hollywood reporter thinks it's doing journalism with this hilarious story about how all the major entertainment multinationals are uh, freaking out over the fact that, that cord cutting is accelerating and streaming revenue is failing to make up for that shortfall. You know, yeah, exactly, because you go woke, you go broke. Plain and simple. All right, sorry about that little uh, interruption here. How to you know, my dog, which is going at it again, but it says here in the article on Breitbart, about 3.5 million people are canceling their cable slash satellite packages per year. That is a massive loss of revenue for entertainment outlets. Why? Well, as I've been, I've been explaining for 15 years now, merit has nothing to do with cable profits. Whether you watch the Disney grooming channel, MTV, CNN, LOL, TBS, TCM, MSNBC, Fox News, ESPN, or all those other well-known networks, the providers slash studios uh, uh, though, that those networks all get a price of your monthly bill, uh, for example, just because you, like the rest of America, do not watch CNN because it is still part of your but because it is still part of your cable package, you're subsidizing CNN. Every month, something like a dollar of your cable bill goes to CNN's parent company. Same with all other networks you don't watch. Now, do the math: twelve dollars a month uh, times one hundred million household equals one point two billion for CNN per year. Even though no one watches CNN, the whole cable game is rigged. Exactly. But when you cut those cables, then stuff starts to get. So it gets a little bit hairy for uh, financially wise for these companies. These woke liberal, pushing this woke liberal ideology. Uh, do the new, do the new math: twelve dollars a year uh, times three point five million cancellations per year. Except it's not twelve dollars a year because these major entertainment outlets have up to a dozen or more channels earning those fees. At one point, ESPN alone was earning about uh, about five dollars a month. That's sixty dollars a year from a hundred million households. As I've been predicting and uh, championing, champion, sorry. For more than a decade, streaming would not only eventually kill the cable TV cash cow, streaming would force these entertainment outlets to do something they did not have to do with the rate cable, provide news and entertainment people actually want to watch. Why? Because we will not subscribe to a lousy streaming service without good content. In other words, the studios are now forced to make money based on gasp merit. You know? Yeah, exactly. You know? You have to actually make good stuff. Not when, so when you're forcing this woke liberal SJW ideology, it's not going to work as well as when you had cable. Because, you know, people are, are going to cancel their subscriptions, their monthly subscriptions for these streaming services if you're constantly pushing this woke liberal SJW ideology upon children. And as a result, Disney and other uh, woke, you know, uh, woke companies are now just in absolute panic mode right now. And they're trying to figure out why we're losing all this money when the simple reason is that you go woke, you go broke. Just go back to actually putting out entertainment and not indoctrinating kids into liberal SJW feminist insanity that you see all over the Internet. Because the people, the kind of people they're pandering to, are not the are not the majority whatsoever. They're just a loud and a, a bit rather annoying minority on the internet. But the majority of the people who would actually pay to watch your stuff are not doing so because they don't want to have this stuff inserted into their their young children's minds. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. So it's just funny watching this them go into absolute panic mode, not realizing that the fix is very simple: stop cert inserting liberal woke ideology into your films. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.